Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BC here. Welcome back to the FIFA 20 Road to Glory. This is episode number 10. And in today's video, guys, I will be... I actually have no idea what we're doing. I don't know why I started saying that. <laughs> we're here on this squad that we made last episode. And I have a little complaint about it, guys. Uh, it's not great. It's, it's, it's not great. Uh, I think the issue with it is that I spent, you know, 20 counter left back, 10 counter right back, 20 counter center back, and then like 55k on a cam, you know, 5 counter midfielder, and then my two strikers cost me combined, what, 850 coins? 800 coins. It's like the team is good on defense, guys. It's great on defense, in fact. And the midfield is good, strong. And then up front, guys, I just don't bury any chances. So I'm thinking of selling this team and then making one that has a striker that can actually consistently score for me. I'm not saying that Bloody's bad. In the available game so far, eight games, he's got seven goals and four assists. That's obviously not bad, guys. But I've lost a lot of games. I need to blame it on something. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So the first two things that we have completed here is the Parisian Talent. Uh, which is win four hour match using at least two French players in starting squad. Uh, actually, just complete fluke that I had that really. Uh, I realized after I made my first team, they actually had exactly two Frenchmen in it. And my second team, it only had Ben Mendy, but I brought in Willy Bolly, who I had in my club for Rudiger. So I had two French players in both my teams, so that's how we did complete that. Uh, so we'll claim that for a gold pack, just a 5k pack, but it's better than nothing, obviously. I assume that'll be untradeable. I think everything from the. Um, Weekly objectives and everything is untradeable normally. And we have the origin story, which is score two goals using Ligue 1 Conframa plays in three separate round matches. That one is pretty easy, thanks to my second team having Icardi and Di Maria and Draxler in it. So, uh, yeah, we'll claim that's for a jumbo gold pack. Next up, Milestones, we've got 10 rival wins, which we get two player pack for. Pretty bad pack, but we did get an 84 rated from one of these earlier in this series, a Hamshik. And then we also have a season progress. Uh, it's just a badge, yeah. It's so nothing fancy. Obviously, with the Liverpool badge, that's going to be our badge for the whole year. Unless, like, a badge comes out at some point, which is just, like, I don't know, most Seller's face or something. That could be funny. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know which one of these I'm going to select. Let's go with the... The 8-bit football kind of goes with our 16-bit ball. But, I don't know. Let's just go with the baby crack, and I like that. We're not going to use it anyway. Now that we have claimed all of those FUT Central stuff, we have got a little mini pack opening here. Oh, the Jumbo Gold Pack's actually got three rares. Okay, it's a 15k pack, but with only three reds. That's actually a good pack. Cool. All right, we'll start with the gold pack. The two-player pack could be a, a better chance of getting a gold rare player in it than this one does. Will we get a gold rare player at a 5k pack? Or like a shadow or something. That could be sweet. Or an anchor. Um, the rare... It is a rare player. Okay. Uh, Mandy. He doesn't look too great. Do we have any nice... Uh, okay, we got a hawk. A hawk's not too bad at all, actually. Uh, what league's Rondon? Is that China? Yeah, Rondon. That's where Rondon went. Uh, I was wondering the other day where Rondon went and I forgot to check. Look it up. So, I guess that's good. We know that now. Uh, is Celebre tradable? Yep. Uh, do I have a tradable unique Catalica badge? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> awesome. We'll discard that for nothing and send all that into the club. Next up, we'll open up the two-player pack. This was for winning 10 games of Div Rivals. So, really have to grind it for this one because winning 10 games of Div Rivals, guys, in Div 4 and Div 5 with my team's for some reason, it's been really difficult. I think I suck at this FIFA. It's not even a rare card. 75 Vazquez is great. <laughs> Obviously, that pack couldn't have been worse then. That means the rare is a silver. Is it a good one at least? Potsman. And last but definitely not least, in fact, last but best, we have a jumbo gold pack. Hopefully, you guys can hear that joyrider outside as a kind of motorbike. <laughs> He's gone now. Come on. Maybe that joyrider outside gives us the pack luck. It's a rare player. It's not a flag. It could still be something good. It's Mamadou Sakho. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I used to be very high on M Mamadou Sakho. Uh, I remember I was really annoyed at the time that he got, like, on the Liverpool... When Liverpool were in San Francisco in preseason, I was so sad when Jurgen Klopp sent Sakho home. And they just never played him. Obviously, he did something to do, just awful in that trip. <laughs> I don't know what he did. Uh, we also got Nazar as a cam now. Even though he was still in FIFA. Uh... Cool. All right, we got Sacco, and we got Boric. We got a sniper. Okay, sniper is a good cam style. Uh, Bournemouth kit. Uh, that kit. Yep, never gonna use that league. What even is that? Denmark. Okay, cool. We'll discard that as well, and that completes our little pack opening. So I decided what I'm gonna be doing today, guys. It's taking me like 20 minutes here, but I'm going to sell my team because I'm just not having too much fun with it at the moment. I'm not winning games. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I will be selling that and making a new team. But I thought before I do that, let's make a few of these gold upgrade packs. Because there's obviously one to watch as in packs plus the uh, team of the week and, you know, all the good cards anyway that would normally be out. So, yeah, I'm going to make a few of these gold upgrade packs. Just as many as I can make with the non rays I'm not going to, um, non rays in my club. I'm not going to, you know, spend any of my coins to make them or not. That would just be stupid. It's already not that smart of an idea to do anyway. So, yeah, hopefully we can make, like, you know, four or five of these. And then we'll open them up. And then hopefully we'll get some we can build a team around. And if not, then... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I will be making a new team, but, yeah, first we are going to be opening up these gold packs. Then I'll sell my team, then we'll make a new team, and I'll continue spamming the rival game so we can hopefully get into this weekend's foot champions. So just using untradeable, non-rare golds, I was able to make four of these packs, guys, which is awesome, because that means not a single bit of, you know, coins has gone into this, because I didn't even use, like, tradable uh, non-rare golds, which would have had opportunity costs. This literally didn't cost me anything, guys. Just cards I'm never going to use, and were so low-rare, they wouldn't even work in SBCs. And if these four packs are good, or if, you know, I want to keep opening some, I can probably make another four uh, just using my tradable um, gold, non-rare golds. So they would have opportunity costs of, like, four or five K each or something like that. So that might not be worth it. But, yeah, let's open these four. And, yeah, these are all just a bonus, really. Not really a bonus, but, like, I just... You, you got them really easily. And, you, you know, cards we're never going to use. So they're, pre they're really, like, free packs right here. From using just the crappy cards you got from, like, weekly objectives and stuff. So the first one doesn't have a flag in it. It is Rugani. That's not bad. He'll be good for an SPC at some point, being a highest rated major nation, major team uh, centre-back. And there could actually be something good next to Rugani in this pack, obviously. Uh, Chan, here we go, another Juventus player, that's pretty good, and Chan is a good one, definitely a usable centre mid, um, yeah, really good stats. Pack number two, so already guys, just one pack here, we've got an 81 and 82, which is way more usable for both, you know, actually using and for using SVCs than any of the players you use to make these four packs, which is awesome. Pack number two also doesn't have a flag, it is Miss, uh, Biglia, sorry, he's an 82 rated, are these like CDF packs or something? <laughs> We've got three CDF players uh, in these packs so far. There's not going to be a fourth in here, is there? No, there's not. There is McKenny. Two rare gold player pack number three. Will we get a flag? I only opened one of these in my other account, guys, and we got a, a Lucas Mora, which was just awesome. Come on, show us a flag. Show us a flag. No flag here again. Maybe we'll clutch one. Okay, Ronald Garcia, that's by far the worst pack so far. Who is alongside Garcia? A duplicate Gary Medel. Is he tradable? Yes, he is. Cool. So we'll send Raul Garcia into the club. And we'll open up the four two-air gold player packs. So we've definitely got no one that I'm going to build a team around so far. That is for sure. I was really hoping I'd get like a, you know, at least like a 30, 40k striker. Can we end on a flag here? No. Right. Another Mandy. Right. I'm going to use those tradable non rays and make some more of these guys. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't. I could just sell them and, and, and let's spend like 15, 20k towards a better striker and a better team. But, packs, bro. So, unfortunately, I can actually only make two more of these two rare gold player pack using the uh, non rare golds in my club. Uh, so, opportunity cost in each of these is probably around, I don't know, 4k, maybe even 3.5k. Because the non-rare golds in my club, I checked the prices on to make sure I didn't have any that were worth a lot. And yet, yeah, none of them were worth more than like 4 to 5500 coins. So yeah, really not that much opportunity costing these. Hopefully, we finally get something good from one of these guys. We opened two 2 rare gold player packs before this video. And we opened 6 here. Surely from 8 2 rare gold player packs, we'll get something good. Come on, show us a flag. No flag. El Shari. He looks like a decent card, but uh, in case you haven't been watching this whole series, guys, I actually had Al Shirari in one of my starter squads. I didn't enjoy him very much at all. Is there anything next to Al Shirari? Ramen. Right. The final two rare gold player pack, guys. At this rate, it doesn't look like I'm going to have any help from these packs uh, making my next team. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, unless we get something big here, show us a flag. Damn it. Um... Damn it. <laughs> oh, so I was looking for a striker. I think we have it, guys. Anything alongside him? Uh, Rafinha. I was looking at the transfer market, guys, and there's a special Van Dyke Cup. Champions League Van Dyke. It's got the exact same stats of a regular Van Dyke. I checked some other players. There's also a Kante and a Sterling up when I was looking. It's really, really strange. I don't know how they've gone. If their impact's really rare, or if it was probably just a glitch. It's much more likely because we're playing FIFA. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, are there any up right now? No, there's none up now. That is super weird. So I'm going to sell this team and buy a good striker and then make a team around whoever we end up buying. I don't know if I'm going to buy Firmino. 
I am tempted to buy Firmino. I don't know how good he's going to be in this game because he hasn't got the pace, which seems to be quite important. I versed someone who had um, Icon Kaka, and he also had Gold Werner. Gold Werner got a hat trick. I didn't even notice Kaka, so maybe we'll try Werner. I'm not sure. I'm going to look around strikers on Footbin and stuff, see which one's the best one to get, and yeah, we'll get him and make a team around him. Uh, maybe it's Divokari. Who knows? No, it's not Divokari. Uh, he's actually been okay. That's about 10 minutes a game uh, of the sub. And actually, he's got some stats. So that's not too bad at all. All right, so I sold these five players. And seeing it for 61k, so it's actually 5k profit. So I would actually, would have actually made like a 1 or 2 count him, which is pretty cool. Berk is over 6.4, so that's about 500 coins profit. I'm not sure if we made any money after tax on him. Akanji, we sold for a 500 coin loss. Resilient, we sold for 500 coins profit. And in Bamboo, we sold for the exact price we bought him for. So... All in all, after tax on all five of them, we probably lost like, I don't know, maybe like 100 coins or something. And seeing it helped, uh, I was selling him for more. That I was quite excited to find out he was worth more. So that's cool. So yeah, we'll clear all that. And I was thinking, guys, how none of my players can really finish. It's because I didn't ever put chemistry styles on them. So I've sold that team. So that team's done with now. So I'm not going to put chemistry styles on them. Instead, I'm going to improve my second team because I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm, for instance, I'll start with giving Zaha a sniper. That'll put his finishing up from 78 to 93. So that'll obviously improve him massively. Icardi, I'm actually pretty happy with the basic on him. He's finishing 89. It's already decent. And it improves his pace, jumping, strength, agility, ball control, short pass vision. That's all really pretty important stats for a striker. So I'm actually pretty happy with the basic on him. Uh, I do want to try Dresa Gunner Gay somehow I get him involved. Because he looks phenomenal. I looked at his car for the first time just then. He looks really, really good. And I think I want to change out the defense because I'm not happy with Schmeichel. Well, he's been terrible. I'm going to get like, a proper goalkeeper because it seems like the elite goalkeepers are incredible. Because I versed All Black and I just couldn't do anything, guys. He was phenomenal. Same with like when I versed to Stegen and Lloris. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get a more elite goalkeeper. So, as you guys can see, this team looks pretty similar. Uh, we brought in Dri Gay to replace Drexler. He was 3.1k. Uh, we brought in Luke Shaw to replace Mendy with a shadow, 6.3k, that was an awesome bird. I actually bought him with the shadow for that price, that was sick. Felipe Anderson's a big signing to replace Frazier, should be a big upgrade here. Put a dead on him, that cost me 350 coins. Um, and then we have Allison, who's 57,000 coins. He's actually, like, I think, De Gea might be more, and other than De Gea, I can't think of another gold goalkeeper that costs more than Allison's. Allison should be really good, plus he's one of my favorite players in real life. Uh, I don't dislike Adrian, but Adrian's a really good shot stopper, but I really miss Allison's distribution. Like, there's so many quick goals, like, with quick counts. I think it was Arsenal last season, where Allison made a save, and then I think Salah scored a goal 13 seconds later, thanks to Allison's uh, quick distribution. It was crazy. Um, and then Chemistry Styles, we had a shadow in the club, so I put that on Socrates. We had a guardian in the club, so I put that on Hector Bellerin. I bought an anchor for 2,000 coins, put that on Rudiger. I bought two backbones to put on these two. Those are 350 coins. I bought two dead eyes to put on Di Maria and Philippe Anderson. That those are 350 coins each. And I bought a sniper for th I think 300 coins. Unless I already have one in the club. I might have already had one in the club actually. Yeah, we packed it in one of the packs earlier. So yeah, that was free. Let's go Zaha with a sniper makes his finishing go from 78 to 93. So Zaha should be a lot better than he has been now. And then we had a Hunter in the club. We put that on a Cardi. So that's a big improvement in his pace. It's still not really fast. But, guys, this team doesn't actually play like a 4-4-2. It plays as a 4 triple 2 So, obviously, as you guys can see, the back five stays as is. Uh, Gamaman and Gay come down into CDMs. Di Maria and Philippe Anderson are our wide camps. But in this formation, they put in more like a left winger and a right winger. And then up front, we have Zaha and Icardi. So, yeah, this looks really, really good. I have played a few games with it, and I'm I'm really enjoying it, guys. The chemistry styles make such a massive difference. Uh, Zaha now has 9 goals and 11 assists in 19 games. Uh, Nakati has 13 goals and 8 assists. Obviously, it doesn't seem very good, but... Um, but actually, all the stats are terrible. I thought it was going better. Dean Ray's stats have improved. Um, yeah, the defense is really strong with the two CDMs. I'm not, I'm scoring like about as many goals as I was before, but we're conceding a bit less. Uh, obviously thanks to Allison's help, a big help with that. Um, so yeah, I am really, really enjoying this, guys. Originally, I, I used it, I actually recorded this segment, I think, uh, early this morning, uh, because I chose to turn the formation into a 4-2-3-1. Uh, that looked like this. And I played like five or six games with that, and Zaha was just going missing. And I didn't like having just one slow 
uh, striker up front, lone striker. So that's why I decided to change it to the 4 triple 2 After making that team, I am left with 39,500 coins. I'm going to spend a big chunk of that on making a fitness team. And then whatever I have left over, I'll spend on squad fitnesses. Because once I do eventually get into foot champions, which hopefully should be this weekend, um, it is two days, 14 hours, and I'm already at 830. So I'm quite nervous. I'm just going to spam it for the next couple of days, guys. And we should get in. And I want to only use my main team for that. So yeah, I will be buying some squad fitnesses. Because they're only about 500 coins right now. And they'll definitely go up when the foot champ starts. So yeah, we're going to make a fitness team with probably about 30k. And then I'll buy like 20 squad fitnesses. And then with the squad fitness already on my club, that'll be enough for definitely at least one foot champions. So yeah, I'm going to make that fitness team. And I'll be right back to show it off. I think it's going to look quite a lot like my main team used to look like. But a bit worse, obviously, because I'm not going to be able to forward and seeing in and the fullbacks and Akanji and stuff. So, yeah, we've kind of just done a switch. My fitness team, I've improved that to make them my main team. And my main team, I've made worse to be my fitness team. I was checking the price of Shadows, guys. It was like 4.1k. So, I went down to 4k. And there was nothing. So, I went down to 3.9k just to see if I could get a snipe. And one came up for 1.2k, as you can see, which is awesome. And here is the new fitness team. I'm actually really, really happy with how it came out. Uh, thanks to a couple of my untradables and then reusing Allison, we actually got a really nice team here. So obviously we are reusing the Allison. Uh, since goalkeepers don't lose much fitness, I'm fine with just using fitness card team every four or five games or so. Uh, and then the two centre backs, we've got Sydney, who uh, we bought for low 100 coins a while ago. He was in my team, my starters team, and like for a while there. So we played 36 games with him now. And uh, that shadow that I bought for 1200, we did pop that on him. Then we bought another shadow for 4k, the actual price they go for. And put that on Danny Carvajal. Since Danny Carvajal was an untradable guy we got from the Avral Rewards. And pretty much just paid 4k for that Danny Carvajal. Danny Carvajal with a shadow is possibly the best gold right back in the game. Because I think he's already... He might already be the best defensive right back. Oh, no, Azpilicueta probably is. But he's got much more pace than Azpilicueta, obviously. And he's a good passer. He's a really, really well-rounded right back, Danny Carvajal. So, yeah. He goes up to 93 sprint speed, 94 acceleration, 93 interception, 93 defensive awareness... 88 stand tackle, and 99 slide tackle. So just absolutely insane. Plus, he's got high, high work rates, 84 crossing. He's a really good card. And then we brought Gabriel Polista with a center on him for 3.6k. He's actually a little bit more expensive than I thought he'd be because he doesn't look like that great of a card. Um, but yeah, he does look pretty good, to be fair. A low high work rates are nice, too. And then we bought Alex Tellers for 7.4k with an anchor on him already. And this is just insane, guys. High, high work rates, left footed, two star, three star with those stats. He's pretty much Andrew Robertson but a tenth of the price. And his stats are possibly even better than Andy Robbo's. Uh, he just looks absolutely phenomenal, and he is absolutely phenomenal. These guys can see I've used him for eight games already. Really, really enjoying using him. Then we've got Lucas Leiva. We have to have a Liverpool legend in here. Always like using Liverpool players, ex-Liverpool players as well. Uh, Lucas Leiva, 3,000 coins, and his stats are really good for a CDM, as you guys can see. And we've got a backbone on him, which costs 450 coins, 350 coins, something like that. Uh, Luis Alberto, we already had. We packed him uh, in squad uh, Div Rival Awards last week, much like Danny Carvajal. I'm really, really enjoying him. Uh, bought a master for him for about 250 or 300 coins. Then we have Bruno Fernandes, who we bought for 5.1k a while ago because he was in my original fitness team, I think, or maybe my original main team. I can't actually remember. I think my original main team. See, so we're going for 5.1. He's worth about 7k now, I think. Four star, four star, just an insane card for that price. Then up front, we have Chiro and Mobley. 30,500 coins for Mobley, and I put a Hunter that we had in the club on him. So he actually goes up to a pretty good pace in the end, and obviously good finish at 91. Then we have Lozano. We already all know about Lozano. He's been in my club for a while now. He's played 54 games. He's my club's top games played as a goal scorer and a sister. Uh, I bought a sniper for him for about 400 coins. Uh, you guys can see with the sniper, his stats are very, very much improved. 99 agility, 93 pace, 91 finishing. Just an insane card, guys. And then finally, we have Akuna Matata. Uh, 850 coins for the third highest in-game stats for gold player in this entire game. Makes for an incredible CM. And we bought a powerhouse for him and also for Bruno Fernandes, we forgot to mention. They cost 200 coins each. Now obviously, we don't actually play like this because Akuna Matata is actually like a terrible left wing. If actually play him at left wing, a left-footed with three-star weak foot with 66 finishing. The in-game, we actually play like this. So Lucas Lever comes down to a CDM role. The back five's all the same. Uh, Bruno Fernandes and Akuna are our two centre mids. Luis Alberto is our cam. And then we have uh, Lozano and Immobile up front. So it is a 4 2 2 and it looks really, really good. And it is really good. Um, even though Immobile's stats don't look very good, guys, 
he is really good. Like, he gets, like, hockey assists and stuff. I'll be really impressed with Luis Alberto, or Luis Alberto. Uh, has he got the exact same stats as a Mobley, actually? Yeah, he does. That's pretty funny. And then Lozano has just been an absolute beast with that sniper on him. I'm really, really enjoying this Lozano card, guys. And then Bruno Fernandes and Acuna pop up from midfield with goals every now and then, too. Um, well, they've got three goals combined. So, <laughs> it feels like more than that, though. It's weird. I feel like I'm scoring more goals, but when I look at these stats on this team and the stats on my main team, it doesn't seem like I have got many goals at all. Anyway, another good bonus of having Allison in both teams is not only doesn't mean I've got a great goalkeeper in both teams, obviously, it also means that I'm allowed a second sub. And I had St. Maximin here just so I could get the Premier League, uh, win four games in different roles while scoring with the Premier League player. I said on the bench to be able to do that. I brought him on once and he didn't score, unfortunately. We're done with that now because we did do it, so I'm going to remove him and put like a centre midfielder or something on the bench, like a well-rounded player. Since you've already got Promise, who I love, guys. Look at those stats, pretty much all off the bench. He's just so good. Promise is one of my favourite players I've used this game, for sure. He's incredible. So I just got the title update, guys. I'm super excited about it with the goalkeeper changes, the low-driven changes, the three-ball changes, and then the club squad management changes. I'm super excited. The first thing I do is go into the club and it's glitched out and said starter objectives. You've earned your first reward, already claim it here. Uh, so let's go claim my reward that I apparently have. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this multi-swap thing is. Okay, so that lets you change the position that's going to go in. But what does it mean by fresh results? Refresh results. Oh, and then actually searches the position. Oh, this is so much better. Thank you, EA. Okay, this might actually be better than previous FIFAs. It's definitely better than what this FIFA was originally. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you, EA. A title update that's actually improved the game. It has to be the first ever. So this does put us one step closer to the end of ballet, and we get a premier goal pack, so a 7.5k pack, which isn't bad at all. Score a goal using Premier League players in four separate rival wins. Four out of four. That took way longer than it should have. Um, now Zaha has a bit of a more goal score. It was a bit easier, and the team's better, so we actually won the games. It's like, every time Zaha would score, I'd lose the game, and then we'd win, but Zaha wouldn't score. It was so frustrating. It took ages to do. But now we just have one more assist with a midfielder to do that. And then once I start playing squad battles, this shouldn't be too difficult. I have to make a team for it, though. I'll probably chuck um, Promise into the team. And then we've got heaps of French players I can use. And then I don't think... I, I can't think of any Belgian players that have this on my head, so I might have to buy one. But yeah, that should be pretty easy to do, since it's just on world-class difficulty, which I don't play on anyway. So, yeah, we'll be able to do that once I have gotten to foot champs. I don't play any squad battles, because my main goal is to get into foot champs this weekend. So we're just playing only the rivals right now. But we'll definitely better get this end in the belly, which is awesome. Pretty fitting that we're ending this episode with a 7.5k pack, guys, because next episode is going to be a big pack opening. I will be doing an advanced SPC and claiming our the arrival rewards, which I'll probably take the tradable packs. Obviously, once to watch the stealing packs, guys, as with the team of the week, will we get a one to watch from the 7.5k pack? No, not even a rare player. Uh, we got Marco Grouch. That's actually not bad. Doesn't look like that bad of a card this year. In case you don't know, he is on loan there from Liverpool. Anything else in this pack? Oh, we got a squad fitness. That's never bad at all. That reminds me, I have to show you guys all the squad fitnesses I bought. I spent like half an hour sniping them for like 350, 400 coins. And we bought like 20, uh, which is awesome. Let's get a left wing to left forward, which is a pretty good uh, position change. And what's the third area? A contract. All right. We'll just send... Well, no, let's get rid of that. And then let's send the rest to the club. What's Grewich's card like this year? I haven't actually looked at it. Six foot three. Decent finishing. Yeah, he doesn't actually look that bad. He wouldn't be bad for a starter team. And here you guys can see we do have 46 gold squad fitnesses, 3 bronze squad fitnesses, and 1 silver squad fitness, which is awesome. That means 50 total. I'm not actually going to use them this weekend league, assuming I qualify, since I'm actually really happy with my fitness team. Plus, we'll improve the fitness team a little bit more with the coins we get from the rivals. But then eventually, in like a week or two, I'm just going to like, you know, keep stocking up the squad fitness cards from like, you know, mega packs and stuff will be earned from rewards. I'll buy a few more while they're still cheap at about 400, 400, 500 coins. Hopefully, we'll get up to like 100 squad fitness or so. And then once, you know, a couple of weeks, we'll be able to make like a 300, 400k main team by selling the squad fitness, that's fitness team, you know, getting a couple more, you know, uh, foot champs rewards, a couple more DRI rewards, and a couple more squad battle rewards behind us, we'll be up to about 400 500k, and we'll be able to get a really strong first team, and give it our almighty go in foot champs, with just that one really strong team, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, because I'm still just coming against pay to win team, up to pay to win team guys, and I've really had to grind it, just to get like a, you know, only, like, just a goal, so I get some, you know, points, it's, it's really hard guys, we're actually down to div 6 now, I, I'm still learning the new game. It's not completely because every time I versus a pay-to-win team. I'm not great at the game either. I mean, in past FIFA's, 
against pay to win teams, I can still, you know, get draws and stuff out of them, but I'm really struggling in this game, guys. Comment below if you guys are struggling a bit in this game still with your Road to Glory teams. But yeah, guys, that is it from me today. Hopefully, you did enjoy this episode of The Road to Glory. If you want to see more videos in this series, including tomorrow's episode, which will be Div Rival Rewards, plus I think I will be doing another advanced SPC, which is always fun, then please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.